find yourselves in a moonlit glade. Directly in front of you stands a large, unassuming stone door. The door is covered in a slimy coating of moss, indicating its antediluvian age. The door has no obvious way of being opened. It's a puzzle? Ugh, why can't we just skip to the fights already? No. Ugh, fine. It looks like we're gonna have to take the egghead approach. Alright, I use the knock spell. Um, it says here that it unlocks any door, box, or chest. Great idea, Fluttershy! You cast knock, and a loud knock emanates from the door. Besides that, you notice nothing else. I go to open the door. You attempt to open the door, but it fails to budge. I use knock again. The same thing happens. It's not going to work, Fluttershy. This door is clearly locked by some advanced magic. We're going to have to try something else. I just want to go to the tavern. Quick, let's get inside. I don't think it's that easy, Pinky. The door has a few geometric designs adorning its facade. They appear to be indicating something about the operation of the door. Twilight, do... do we have any talents or skills that can help with this? You know, looking around counts as a skill, right? In that case, I'm going to invoke my Celestia-given right to look around! You see a small circular depression in the center of the door. It looks to be about two inches wide. I think there's a staff or something that goes into the hole. Obviously, Twy, you just ripped this puzzle off from Daring Do in the Temple of Goons. I did not. Now, listen. If you have any stuff in your inventory, you can use it. Gee, thanks for the tip, Twilight. If you have any stuff in your inventory, you can use it. Let's see here. A bedroll, a bottle of cider, a water skin, another bottle of cider, more cider, a handle of vodka, a jug of ale. Wait, I have three throwing axes? Holy fuck. A flask of oil, a bar of oh, soap. What is this? A copper rod? Use that! Use it! It says here it has some fancy designs on it, and that's eight inches long with a two inch diameter. Stick it in there! Stick it in there! It'll fit right in! Why do I have an eight inch copper rod? It can be used as an arcane focus. You can channel the power of arcane spells with it. Okay, alright, that makes sense. Look, I'm no wizard, but I'm just saying stick it in there and the door should pop right open! No one could seriously figure that out after all this time? I mean, the door's freaking moss growing on it! Okay, I stick my small 8-inch rod into the hole in the door. It should fit right inside, hopefully. You insert the copper rod into the great stone door, and it fits snugly inside. You hear a satisfying click, and the great stone door slowly rumbles and begins to open into the dark unknown. Ooh! <laughs> nice! Let's go inside. You head in past, through the stone passage, and find yourselves in a musty torchlit chamber. At the other end of the room, you spot a mysterious robed stallion guarding another large stone door. The stallion begins to speak in a gravelly voice and tells you that you must answer his riddle correctly in order to pass. Ooh, a riddle! Sounds like fun! Another door puzzle? Seriously, Twilight? Are you serious? Is this going to be the entire adventure? I'm the Dungeon Master, Rainbow, which means I decide how this adventure ultimately plays out and how the fates of your characters unravel. If you don't like that, then you can just leave right now. Whatever, Twilight. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Less arguing and more riddle solving. I have ale and witches to get to. Okay, okay. The decrepit stallion begins to speak. <clears throat> a slave I have been and shall remain. To a cruel mistress I'm tied with invisible chains. Yet I always put on the same brave face. She keeps me her prisoner, but leaves me some space. What am I? This is pretty tough, Twilight. It's gonna take a while to crack. Can't we just skip to the combat already? No, you may not. Now, does any pony want to take a shot at this riddle or not? Um, is it a farmer? No, try again. Ooh, ooh, I know this! A 
Is it a dog? No. A pizza? No. A boat? Nope. The inevitable heat death of the universe? No. How did you even come up with that? All right, whatever. I sneak up on a stallion and stab him in the throat. Hey, great idea, Dashi. Wait up, wait up. This stallion may be your only way through. Are you completely sure you want to attack him? <laughs> you know it. <sighs> Rainbow Dash successfully sneaks up behind the stallion and rams a dagger into his throat. The stallion bleeds out, collapses, and dies. There, are you idiots happy now? Hey, yeah we are! Let's get the show on the road! Um, aren't we stuck now? Yes. Wait, there's absolutely no other way to get past this door! Nope, you guys blew it. <laughs>